Look at what Marco Silva had to deal with when he took over as whole manager. They were adrift at the bottom of the league. They'd won seven points in their previous 18 games. He's had to sell his two best players. They're playing in a shit tip of a stadium where they play rugby league the night before matches. His record signing has a cracked skull. They've got a chairman that the fans absolutely despise that won't even show up to the stadium. And he's got no money to spend. This guy is playing the Premier League on challenge mode. Sweet mother Hubbard. He said on day one that it was going to take a miracle to keep Hull City up. And you know what? He's performing one. And then contrast that with what's happened at Man City. Where last summer it looked like we were getting the second coming of Christ. Ferran Soriano and Cheeky Bis... What the fuck's his name? Cheeky what? Cheeky Begueristan. They came five years before Guardiola, like John the Baptist, preparing for the Prophet's arrival. Are there soldiers, John? Are the soldiers coming? Behold. The Lamb of God. It's a bit religious. Sorry if you're offended. Are you a Christian? Then forgive me. You want forgiveness? Since then, City has been totally geared towards Guardiola. The signings, the academy. Everything on the playing side has been optimised for Guardiola. He signed whoever he wanted last summer. John Stones for 50 million, Claudio Bravo, Nolito, Leroy Sané, you name it. He doesn't even like Bravo and Nolito anymore. I haven't seen Nolito in weeks. Where the fuck is he? Blech. No matter the shortcomings on the part of Guardiola, he never seems to be the one to get the blame. He's chucked out Joe Hart. He tried to chuck out Yaya Torre. He left out Sergio Aguero, probably one of the best strikers in the world. And the fans take his side in all of these disputes. The players aren't intelligent enough, or they're not technical enough, to cope with the demands he's setting them. But he should have figured out a long time ago that maybe this squad isn't ready for this high-end football that he's trying to play with them. What does Silva do? He keeps it simple. Keep your clean sheets, hit them on the break. He's met a striker out of Umar Nias, a guy who didn't even have a locker by the time he left Everton. Meanwhile, Guardiola has the best striker in the league in Aguero. What does he do? He fucking drops him. Name me one manager that would drop Aguero. And when Silva arrived, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. It was just one foreign manager too many. Who is this no hoper? Who is this? Yeah, it was cheap. They called him cheap, yeah. They called him cheap. They called him, they called him unknown. They called him a no hoper. And he's not only proven everyone wrong, but he's proven pound for pound to be a more successful manager in this league than Pep Guardiola. Guardiola's first seven home matches in the Premier League, three wins, three draws, a loss. Marco Silva's first seven home matches in the Premier League, six wins and a draw. And look, Conte is going to get manager of the year because Chelsea are probably going to win the league. Maybe even the cup as well. But don't let that detract from the success that Silva has had at Hull. That's why he's my pick for manager of the year.